graduation. We are so glad you joined us. And now to get started, Hello, a message from the creator of Norm Therapy and our co-founder, Michael Gibson. Hello, my name is Michael Gibson and I am the creator of Norm Therapy. Welcome to our Norm Therapy Intake Specialist graduating ceremony. We look forward to entertaining you today with our graduates and their accomplishments. Norm Therapy rests upon three pillars, and those pillars are clarity, assessment, and truth. We try to help the victims and the survivors look past their hyperbole or lies that they tell themselves in order to accommodate those abuses and find solutions. Norm Therapy took about 25 years in the making. It was not an overnight uh, endeavor. We look forward to your support in the future of our organization as well as we continue to support the abuse care industry. We also would like that you would assist us in supporting our life-changing work at Arrow by donating at GoArrow.org. Thank you for attending our graduating ceremonies today, and we look forward to hearing from you and enjoying your company in the future. Thank you very much. And we continue with a message from our global executive director and co-founder, Kelly Dean. Hi there, my name is Kelly Dean and I'm the global executive director and co-founder of Abuse Refuge Org or affectionately known as Arrow. Today, I'd like to share with you how Norm Therapy not only changed my life, but it saved my life. So a few years ago, I found myself in a really dark place. I had tried everything up until <clears throat> that point to include 10 years of counseling. And along came Norm Therapy. I was actually the first person to ever go through Norm Therapy. And I learned a whole lot. I learned that I was a pathological liar, and I learned that I had been the victim of abuse in 10 areas, which we now focus on. So Michael Gibson is our other co-founder and creator of Norm Therapy and you will learn a whole lot more about it and all that we're doing. So I hope that Norm Therapy is something that you're able to participate in, get involved with, and maybe, just maybe, it will change and save your life the way that it did for me. Again, hello everyone and welcome to Abuse Refuge or affectionately known as Arrows, third graduating class of Norm Therapy Intake Specialist, May 2022. I am Kim Carpenter and I am your host today for Norm Therapy Registered Trademarked Intake Specialist Graduation. My experience at Arrow has been rewarding and productive as I have been instrumental in helping to build training modules within Arrow's departments as the T&D manager as well as playing an integral role within Norm Therapy leadership as one of the pioneers and the Norm Therapy instructor cadre and supervisor in supporting the NTIS candidates who wish to continue in Norm Therapy to become a qualified instructor of future cohorts. Norm Therapy is an innovative abuse management interviewing process whereby the Norm Therapy Intake Specialist will interview an eclectic array of victims or survivors from around the world. Further, examining their life narratives and assisting the victim or survivor in discerning the veracity or the hyperbole surrounding their own experiences and chronology of their pathology. This is no easy task. Not only have we developed norm therapy for North America, moreover, we are developing norm therapy for different regions of the world, as well as for children and corporations. Today, the manager of norm therapy, Eileen Shea, will be providing an overview and background about the program. The creator of norm therapy and co-founder of Abuse Refuge Org, Michael Gibson, will be sharing a short message. Our keynote speaker is Daniel J. Wright, attorney at law. Then on to the best part, graduation. Before we end our time together, we will be giving all those who are interested in learning more about our program an opportunity to stick around for some Q&A. 
Here is Eileen Shea to provide some background on norm therapy. Thank you, Kim. As a nurse practitioner in my previous life, I understand the correlation of our mission at Arrow to train a cadre of intake specialists who would be the vanguard and serve as process interviewers for victims or survivors of abuse. We are not counselors, clinicians, doctors, or licensed therapists, which grants us a unique opportunity. We are the next best thing when you need someone to really listen and help you discern your critical moments. It is more personalized than traditional therapies, and we are able to self-disclose to our victims or survivors experiences and life knowledge and further connect with what they've been through. Not all interviews will possess every element of this structure. However, our platform gives the most comprehensive approach towards finding clarity, providing assessment, and arriving at the truth. It is important to note that norm therapy is sort of like a pre-therapy, preparing a victim or survivor for therapy with clinicians, doctors, psychiatrists, psychologists, social workers, and many other entities within the abuse care community. A great deal of hard work, sacrifice, and learned experience has gone into norm therapy. Michael Gibson, Arrow's co-founder and creator of norm therapy, has spent the last 25 years or more developing this concept. He found himself in a myriad of situations around the world where people would consistently seek his wisdom or advice. You know how when you have a friend who you can just talk to? Michael Gibson was literally that friend on an, exponen on an exponential basis to many. What Michael believes is simple. Most people who suffer from abuse have somehow conditioned themselves to endure the abuse over time. We oftentimes give the example that if a man were to go home from work, greet his wife, and then simply slap her face, that reaction to having been slapped, if she does nothing about it, will become normalized. And after a year or even after a few months of arriving home, then slapping his wife would then become normalized behavior and acceptance of that behavior. Perhaps even in the future, the wife would simply put her cheek out to her husband to slap, thinking that maybe he had forgotten that day. On this premise, norm therapy was born. If somehow a victim or survivor is convinced through trauma, psychological or physical, and has normalized the pain and destruction, Michael saw that there was an opportunity to help people find clarity about their abuses. He firmly believes that people plot their own destinies through a series of decisions. The more decisions you make, the better you will become at making decisions. He also believes that people will only ever do to you what you allow them to do or what they think they can get away with. Our NTIS job is first and foremost to find clarity in a victim or survivor's chronology of their pathologies. We are not here to cure anyone. However, we are here to help find the truth and take that truth into therapy if needed. Kelly Dean, our other co-founder of Arrow, was actually the first person to ever have successfully gone through norm therapy. She may not be perfect, but Kelly is a far cry from where she used to be, realizing that norm therapy probably saved her life. In many walks of life, a wide swath of our global population experience abuse every single day from one kind to another. Kelly experienced at least 11 different abuses, both chronic and acute, over the course of her life to include narcissism, sexual, physical, psychological, financial, child, self, cyberbullying, bullying, spousal, and workplace abuse. It was quite debilitating for her as she journeyed through her pain. The entire ERA organization was envisioned and created based on Kelly's abuses endured and this is only the beginning. In the future, Arrow will be adding alcohol, substance, institutional, and prison abuses upon receiving certifications for the appropriate abuse care licensures. Thank you everyone. I am Eileen Shea, Manager of Norm Therapy. I will now turn it back to Kim. Before we get to our keynote speakers, We'd like to take a moment to hear a testimony from a few of our norm therapy interviewees and Aero volunteers. First, Victoria, would you like to say a few words? Yes, Kim. Thank you so much. 
My name is Victoria Shakespeare, and I was a recent interviewee for um, this most recent um, NTIS from cohort. So to the May 2022 graduating class of norm therapy intake specialists, we all know by now that it can sometimes be scary to start something new. Simultaneously exciting and nerve wracking, beginnings can be messy, a bit unorganized, and often feel like they hold more questions than answers. I'm impressed and inspired by all who embarked on this NTIS training and journey the past two months. You should all be proud of yourselves for being on the ground floor of a unique, nascent, and powerful opportunity. What your class of norm therapy intake specialists holds is an opportunity to contribute and a responsibility to dedicate yourselves to something in its infancy that we all believe can grow into a program that is quite spectacular. This is a moment of excitement for both you as individuals, your cohort, the Aero and Norm Therapy predecessors who laid the foundation for you all, and those like myself and others who will be honored and enthused to follow in your footsteps. I know I can speak for myself and the other interviewee volunteers that we are abundantly grateful for having the chance to participate and experience what Norm Therapy is now and will become as a doctrine and to others who benefit from it. Thank you all for your efforts, your patience, your care, and your empathy. These are all skills that will go onward to enable and empower countless others in the future. Thank you for the time you gave to complete this training, and thank you for what was given now implies for the time you will give in the future to put this therapy into practice. To do something new for oneself is a small act of exploration. To combine that with exploring a new process as an early pioneer of a therapeutic system that we know will go from an innovation to an eventual standard in abuse care that is quite impressive, beautiful, and brave. May I offer a grand thank you to not only the most recent NTIS class, but to all who participated in whatever form that took. Finally, may I offer an even bigger dose of excitement for the graduates and everyone else for where we know the broader norm therapy project will go. It is with joy and optimism that I congratulate the Norm Therapy Intake Specialists of the Spring 2022 graduating cohort. Breathe life. Thank you, Victoria. Next up, we have Desne. Please unmute and share with us your experience as an NTI. Thank you, Kim. Good morning, everyone. I am Desney Frazier, and I um, was an NTIS interviewee, and I am a research assistant for um, ARO. My um, NTI testimony is that I am truly an overcomer. I have had to overcome physical limitations in order to have mobility in my physical body. I have had to overcome educational barriers that pushed me to excel in elementary school, middle school, high school, college, and university. I have had to overcome not being socially accepted by peers in my age group and generation that propelled me to thrive and adapt in various social environments and to adjust myself to different personalities. I have had to overcome being sexually assaulted and bullied to find the strength in myself to heal from my emotional wounds so that I could love myself again and move on with my life. I would like to I would like to thank um, the president and co-founder um, Kelly Dean and uh, Michael Gibson, and I would like to say um, congratulations to all the NTIS graduates. Thank you. Thank you, Desney, and thank you both for being a part of the Norm Therapy Training Program. I would like now to turn the turn over the microphone to the creator of Norm Therapy, co-founder and managing director of Arrow, Michael Gibson. Uh, 
Uh, apologize. I'm, I'm the non-muter in Arrow. Hello, everyone. I am Michael Gibson. For those of you I have not had the chance to meet, I welcome you all to our third Norm Therapy Intake Specialist graduation. I want to first thank our NTIS pioneers and our Norm Therapy Intake Specialists for their sacrifice, their consistent input, and their stellar ability to not only grasp our trademark norm therapy process, rather they have broken new ground in its applications. By design, norm therapy is not easy. An intake specialist job is not to become the victim's or survivor's friend on any level. However, being friendly, affable, mature, courageous, a good listener, and many other traits that we look for in a norm therapy intake specialist personality and to have character are all vital towards achieving the highest results in norm therapy. Many people who participated in norm therapy, either as an intake specialist or a victim or survivor have consistently stated that they've never seen or heard anything like norm therapy. It has been referred to as the missing link. The norm therapy intake specialist's entire universe revolves around the personality and the narratives of the victim and survivor. Our process is not ego-driven, rather it's recognition-driven based on the narratives and the abuses presented. If you would like to know more about norm therapy, please visit our website at goarrow.org for more information. Our next presenter is our keynote speaker, Daniel J. Wright. I've known Dan for decades, and we have been in some of the most interesting places and endeavors anyone could imagine uh, just about everywhere. We've traveled all over the world many times together and have experienced life and business on the highest of levels. Dan's analytical mind as it relates to business is uncanny at best, and his legal mind is literally without comparison, but his friendship is the one I cherish the most. Dan's vast knowledge of all things worldly and his intimate knowledge of our friendship, as well as Dan's being a member of Arrow's board of directors, is why I asked him to speak today at your Norm Therapy graduation. I would like to introduce Daniel Wright, attorney at law in the state of Maryland and Washington, D.C. He specializes in trial work and representation of business interests internationally and domestically. Dan receives or received his Bachelor of Arts and his law degree from the University of Wisconsin-Madison. He currently holds admission to the following, Maryland State Bar Association, District of Columbia Bar, 35 years plus, Supreme Court of the United States, 30 years plus, U.S. District Courts for Maryland and the Districts of Col District of Columbia, 35 years, U.S. Courts of Appeal and the Fourth Circuit and the District Columbia Circuit, 35 years. In his trial work, Dan has represented hundreds, if not thousands, of victims of abuse, including domestic abuse, elder, emotional, and many other kinds of abuse. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to present Daniel J. Wright, attorney at law. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Kelly. And good morning, everyone. I'd like to congratulate all of you here today on your achievement in becoming norm therapy intake specialist for Arrow. This is a great achievement and one that you can justly be very proud of. Ending the epidemic of abuse should be one of the highest priorities for our planet. Sadly, it is not. Wherever you turn, from north to south, rich to poor, all segments of society, all segments of our planet are suffering from violence inflicted on victims, young and old, male and female, and the effects are felt for years to come and even unto future generations. Emotional abuse is devastating to those who suffer from its effects. Something needed to be done, an arrow was created to help victims learn the truth about their past as a means of gaining wellness in the future. Michael, you can be very proud and Kelly for what you've done. Traditional means of addressing abuse are not available for everyone or, or even for a majority of the 
people who suffer. Many people cannot afford the cost of therapists, for example. For this reason, Arrow offers a cost-free portal for victims who want to begin to understand what can be done. And you, today's graduates, are the most important component. You will deal directly with abuse survivors and play a positive role in their recovery. Abuse is everywhere, and we must all challenge ourselves to support abuse care. As Michael mentioned, I've had the privilege of traveling all over the world, and I've seen abuse in many forms. In this organization, Arrow, spearheads effective and timely solutions in tackling and identifying the many forms of abuse. As attorney, I've been witness to a litany of evil and Machiavellian abuses, which have been etched in my memory for all time. I've seen women come in to my office with pictures of horrible bruises. I've seen children with uh, marks across their back and their legs and their arms. I've seen elderly citizens come into my office who had all of their retirement money stolen from them. And they don't know where to turn. When Michael Kelly and I formed our board of directors. It was with great anticipation and support that I accepted the board seat on Arrow so that something could be done for everyday people. Norm therapy intake specialists are at the center of this process. And this well-defined body of work with many years in the making that has just been percolating for years in Michael's head uh, is a true testament towards championing and mitigating abuse in society. In helping others to heal, I think you will find that you help yourselves to heal and gain new insights about the struggle we all have to survive and prosper in these very difficult and challenging times. In the future, when you look back on your lives, you'll be able to point to your efforts here with pride. Thank you for working with us. Thank you, Dan. It's time for the main event. I will now be announcing the NTIS graduates. If you would kindly mute until the end of all graduates being presented for applause it would be greatly appreciated. Our first NTIS graduate is Alba Lang. Alba, would you like to say a few words about your experience as a norm therapy intake specialist? Yes, hi everyone. Uh, good morning. Thank you for the opportunity to, to um, say a few words. Um, norm therapy is an eye-opening uh, therapeutic process. Uh, it helps victims and survivors of abuse. But what's most interesting about, about it is how, at the same time, we as NTIS candidates do a whole lot of inner growth um, during the process of training. This is what I was most curious about at the beginning of the journey with Arrow. I remember hearing Kelly saying that we would be amazed by the way these techniques we were learning would impact our lives and how we would view things differently um, after these life-changing les changing lessons. Now I've realized she was right. Um, I've learned new ways to cope with day-to-day -day issues and also the importance of building your own boundaries with, with people around me. Numb therapy is a new concept, a very innovative way of approaching a victim um, or survivor of abuse like we've never seen before. What I most uh, admire about um, numb therapy is the ability to reach people in need of psycholog psychological treatment uh, without having the monetary exchange that a huge percent of our society is not able to access due to personal circumstances. Known therapy has helped me understand certain attitudes and behaviors from myself, um, and that will help when supporting vulnerable people and conducting my future interviews. Um, participating in non therapy training has been a very pleasant experience. Everyone is very talented and passionate about what they do for Arrow. The training itself has an amazing team behind that is working really hard every day to make this happen. I am very proud of myself and all the NTIS colleagues for being here today. 
um, as we learned uh, from Kim Carpenter about the backpack analogy, we're all carrying our own backpacks. And I am sure some peoples might feel heavier than others, but we will be, we will all be able to apply our own life experiences and share them for good within this community. Uh, thank you so much to all the Arrow management team for the opportunity to get involved um, in such a caring community and all the knowledge that I've acquired during this, the, the past two months. I also would like to thank uh, all the NTI volunteers for getting involved and supporting Arrow's mission. Thank you so much. Thank you, Alba. Our next NTIS graduate, Evelyn Kenneru. Evelyn, would you like to share a few words about your experience? Sure, Kim. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to say a few words. My journey to the NTIS started with an interest in the training as an interviewee. And thereafter, at a welcome meeting at the new uh, status meeting, I was asked to join the NTIS training. The universe directed me to this journey. Now as an NTIS, I have a new list and I'm more aware of myself and of seeking the truth for myself and others through the training. I don't take that for granted. Thank you for the privilege and opportunity and the gift of being an NTIS. Congratulations to everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Evelyn. Our next NTIS graduate, Gina A.D. Jenna, please share your experience as a norm therapy intake specialist. Yes, thank you. And thank you everyone for coming. I hope you guys are having a good morning. Um, the opportunity to be involved in norm therapy and in the NTIS training before is one that I am grateful for. Being a recent undergrad with my degree in psychology, I felt lost in what to do next and how I can help those in the mental health field. When I applied for norm therapy, I was excited to be involved in such a great and caring company. Norm therapy has not only helped me grow more professionally, but also in my personal life. The training program has been challenging, but also very rewarding. What Arrow does and stands for is so incredibly important in the abuse care community. Norm therapy's mission and vision to help victims and survivors of abuse is one like is one that is no like no other, and I am proud to be part of Norm Therapy. I know Norm Therapy will change the lives of so many and be that hand up to those who are hurting and aid them in the journey of finding clarity. I have to give my gratitude to Michael and Kelly for creating and founding Norm Therapy. Without them, we would not be here today. You both are great inspirations to look up to, and thank you for allowing me to be a part of this amazing program. Next, I want to thank all the NTIS pioneers and instructors who have done such an incredible job in instructing the, co the cohort, giving words of encouragement, and ensuring that we understood what was being taught. To my mentor, Nicole, who has been such a great help and friend throughout this journey, thank you for all your kind words of encouragement and help, helping me grow during this process. I'm excited to see what the future holds for me here at Norm Therapy and to continue to grow and learn more. Thank you. Thank you, Jenna. Our next NTIS graduate, Therani Mayoranathan. Therani, would you like to share a few words about your experience? Yes, Kim, thank you. Um, hi, everyone. Um, being in this training has been an invaluable experience for me. I can see its potential and how it can be instrumental in changing someone's life for the better. The process has been well thought out and elaborately designed to effectively work towards the preparing the victim survivors to comfortably share their stories, clarify thoughts, and find their truth. This will serve as that significant first step towards healing for anybody who needs it and is willing to go through the process with complete faith. The training taught me many things besides norm therapy. I learned more about human behavior, self-awareness, the decision-making process, and other useful life skills. It was very challenging and I was pushed out of my comfort zone very often but it also helped me to get to know myself better and motivated me to continuously improve. Moreover, I liked being part of something with other inspiring individuals and hope to utilize my learnings to serve others in the future. I would like to specifically thank two people. First would be my husband, 
I was able to successfully complete this training only because he took care of my personal commitments during the hours that I dedicated towards the training. He has been incredibly supportive throughout this process and encouraged me to keep going whenever I feel like giving up. Second would be my mentor, Whitney Derman. She has been patient and supportive of me, gave me constructive feedback and guided me whenever I went to her with doubts. She also went the extra mile and helped me practice interviewing during her free time. A huge thank you to the both of them from the bottom of my heart. I would also like to thank Kelly and Michael for providing me with this incredible opportunity. The competent instructors, the NTIs, Kim Carpenter who facilitated two makeup sessions and everyone involved in creating this amazing training course. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you, Therini. We will have Whitney Derman, March 22, graduate norm therapy intake specialist, present our next graduate. Oh, there we go, sorry. Okay, for the class of norm therapy intake specialist, May 2022, a special recognition has been given to Abinea Ravi for her exemplary application of norm therapy interviewing techniques. Abby has been part of Arrow for several months now and has shown her dedication to Arrow's mission. She regularly seeks out additional feedback from myself as her mentor, in addition to all graduates and pioneers. Abby has held herself with much composure in difficult situations, and Abby has demonstrated her commitment to learning the unique techniques involved in norm therapy in every single training session and beyond. Abby's background is in human resources and has become evident the exponential ways she has expanded her knowledge base since starting norm therapy training. She has stepped out from behind the safety zone of being an introvert into being more secure as an NTIS. The NTIS she was paired with exposed Abby to, deep, to deeply embrace more confidence in her abilities to help others find the truth and maintaining control of the interview, all while making a positive impact on the NTI. She has a kind but assured demeanor, which effectively serves as a strong guide in leading the way forward. It has been inspiring to watch Abby push past those insecurities she's been feeling before starting training to now being on her way at becoming an excellent NCIS. She presents herself in a calm and professional manner, and I believe she'll make an amazing NCIS. She has proven herself time and time again to be reliable and hardworking, but not only that, she excels at everything she does. We look forward to increased growth as she continues on her path of success in the norm therapy department. Congratulations, Avanea. You definitely deserve this recognition. Would you like to say a few words? Yes, thank you. Thank you, Whitney, for the lovely introduction. And I'm so happy to receive the norm therapy graduate certificate and the norm therapy interview award. One day before I started the training, I messaged Island on Slack saying that I'm not sure whether this is right for me, whether I can give my full commitment to the 60 day process. Her exact words were, don't let not knowing what it will look like after keep you from participating. You have got this, Abby. Now I say, I'll thank you for that. I have learned so much about myself, people's behavior and thought processes after attending these enlightening sessions and interesting discussions with the pioneers and graduates in training. Norm therapy is the future of the abuse care industry. The word therapy repels victims and survivors. Most of the time, the victim or survivor believes that their abuse situation is normal due to various reasons. They don't want change, but at the same time, they have a slight inkling that what if? Norm therapy comes to the rescue here. It takes the victim or survivor through a deep level of a truth-finding process at the same time, making them feel comfortable and more prepared. NTISs are not doctors or therapists. We are one among you. We understand you and want to help you. I'm definitely confident that this training has changed my perspective and is an eye-opening experience. There is so much research and concepts behind this, and I'm so grateful to the founder of Norm Therapy, Mr. Michael Gibson, for his years of hard work for bringing this to the world. My heartfelt thanks to Kelly for her constant support and encouragement. My deepest gratitude goes to my training and development manager, Kim Carpenter, who always believed in me. 
on the day of my first interview with the NTI. She started my day with the code. Yesterday ended last night. Today is a new day and it is yours. Kim, please accept my deepest gratitude. My thanks to my mentor, Whitney, and other pioneers and graduates. Finally, many thanks to my husband and my daughter for supporting me through this process. Thank you all. Thank you, Abby. Our final NTIS graduate will be presented by Sheena Thompson, a March 22 NTIS graduate. It is a great pleasure to be able to announce the honor graduate for the May 2022 cohort of Norm Therapy Intake Specialist graduates. The selected honor graduate is Mary Cornwall. Mary consistently has displayed her reliability and commitment to this program by showing up to every training, completing tasks on time, offering great input and thoughtful responses, consistently wanting to improve and asking for feedback following her interviews. She goes above and beyond outside of training hours to better her skills. And she is not afraid to ask questions and take those responses and apply them to come back stronger. It has been a great experience watching her grow to a place where she is able to exude more and more confidence each time in her conversations. Mary is a star. She just hasn't realized her full potential. It will truly be amazing when she begins to fully operate in this capacity. Mary is eager, kind-hearted, and remains calm amongst challenges she is presented with. It has been a great pleasure to be able to be Mary's mentor throughout this training program. And we look forward to increased growth as she continues on her path of success in the Norm Therapy Department. Congratulations, Mary. You definitely deserve this recognition. Would you like to say a few words? Thank you, Sheena. That was such a sweet introduction, I have to say. Um, and thank you everybody on Norm Therapy staff for nominating me for that award. Um, thank you for every, everyone for joining in today too. This is a very exciting day. Um, the most rewarding job I've ever had was at a group home teaching developmentally disabled children. To say I felt helpless when their behavior plans were riddled with abuse would be an understatement. I knew I needed to help, so I applied to a psychology program and had my sights set on becoming a behavioral analyst, a counselor, a psychiatrist, or anything that will actually, actually help these individuals. It didn't take long for me to realize it is going to be difficult to help these individuals with a four-year degree and not much easier with a six-year degree. Most of the power in this field lies at the top and it isn't focused on trauma. Norm therapy wasn't in existence yet, so I decided that I needed to pursue obtaining my PhD to rewrite the rules that are failing so many individuals. Finding norm therapy and becoming a norm therapy intake specialist was the most enriching and fulfilling experience I've had thus far. It allows the victim an opportunity to be a victim and analyze that properly so they can work towards becoming a survivor. Norm therapy provides clarity in ways that no therapy has been designed to do and will ultimately help every professional in this field with its focus on identifying the truth. For me, norm therapy has been the biggest step I could have made in my professional journey towards becoming a psychologist. It has helped me connect with victims by empathizing with them and seeing their perspectives in no ways or in ways no other professional setting would provide. I've been able to identify things within myself that needed to be healed before I can effectively heal those around me. And I thank Norm and all of the instructors for that. I am very honored to accept the honor NTIS certificate and label as this is something I've yearned, yearned for long before norm therapy existed. I am forever grateful to Michael Gibson, Kelly Dean, and Eileen Shea for creating a program that will truly prove itself successful and effective. I couldn't express the gratitude I have for being able to be a part of something that will change the entire field forever. I would like to add a special thanks to Sheena Thompson, my mentor and guide throughout this process. Without her feedback and willingness to help me overcome my hesitations, I wouldn't be as confident to accept the NTIS certificate and embolden victims and survivors as a norm therapy intake specialist. Thank you guys. And congratulations class. Thank you, Mary. 
How about a heartfelt applause for all of our NTIS graduates of May 22? Please unmute and show some love. Yay! 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 Yay. Yay. All right. Thank you, and please Thank resume. You, and to please mute. resume to mute. Thank you to the Norm Therapy Intake Specialists for your dedication and commitment to the mission of Aero. Thanks to all of the Norm Therapy interviewees for your participation in our third cohort program. We couldn't have done it without you. Thank you to our pioneers for your continued passion for the success of Norm Therapy and the visions of where we can go in the future. Thank you to our March 22 graduates who served in the Norm Therapy in multiple capac capacities, as well as being mentors for the May graduates. Thank you again to the graphics department and Andy Sherman for designing the certificates and for the beautiful wallpaper backgrounds we have displayed here today. And I want to share with everyone what a privilege and honor it was for me to have hosted this graduation ceremony for the first time. If you're interested in learning more about Norm Therapy or Abuse Refuge Org, please check out our website at goarrow.org and please encourage volunteers, victims or survivors, professional clinicians, doctors, therapists and social workers to do the same. Most importantly, don't forget to make a donation by clicking the donate button at the top of the main page of our website. This concludes the official graduation ceremony. However, if you want to stick around and talk to Michael Gibson, the creator of Norm Therapy, the Norm Therapy cadre, including Kelly Dean, the global executive and co-founder, Eileen Shea, the Norm Therapy manager, and our Norm Therapy cadre and intake specialist, we will be available to answer your questions about Norm Therapy, the abuse care community, and NTIS training. Thank you all again. Have a great rest of your day. Breathe life.